Welcome back to NEMT Van Talks. I'm Jasmine. And I'm Monica. We want to wish you guys a happy holidays. And a Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah. Absolutely. So, did you guys enjoy our skit? I certainly hope so because we had so much fun creating that skit for you guys. It was hilarious. It was. <laughs> it was. So, we want to um, dedicate this video mm -hmm. um, to talk about wheelchair securement and how to properly um, secure a wheelchair in your vehicle. Right. Keep in mind, um, different vehicles have different restraint systems, mm -hmm. but our vehicle, um, all of our vehicles are Dodge Caravans. And so we are just kind of kind of give you a look as to how we secure. Um, we know it's kind of hard to like verbalize and talk about it. Um, and there may be some scenes in the video that you couldn't quite right. see. Mm -hmm. So we are going to include a link down um, in the description. Yeah. And you can click on that and there's another video that you can watch to give you a better idea as to how to properly secure um, your oh. wheelchair in the mm -hmm. vehicle. Mm -hmm. So, our vehicle has four retractors. Yes. As we explained to you guys in the very beginning, mm -hmm. um, it was very difficult for us to know <laughs> what goes where. I know. And I don't know why, but we had a hard time with that. We were so confused. <laughs> So to make things easier for ourselves, we decided to take our nail polish <laughs> and mark our our retractors. Yes. So this one is yellow. And this one is red. Right. Mm -hmm. So the yellow goes in the rear. And the red goes in the front of the wheelchair. Yeah. And also this is the connector, right? Mm -hmm. So this would, of course, go over the patient and connect here. And there is um, this thing here that would connect here. 
make sure you hear that clicking noise to make sure you have secured that properly yeah. okay that's very important absolutely so it's tight it's in here mm -hmm. so this part would go into the floor the base of the, the base floor. of the floor and then like I said this part would go around the client and then you can actually make the adjustments that you need to make like if your client is smaller larger whatever the case may be and this is the J hook mm -hmm. so you would click on this red the red button here button. release button mm -hmm. and it comes out the J hook you will attach to the wheelchair keep in mind you want to make sure that you are connecting this to the base of the wheelchair and not any detachable, detachable. pieces right um what's a detachable piece so the footrest is mm -hmm. considered a detachable piece on the wheelchair so definitely you don't want to connect the the j hook there right. um yeah you also want to make sure that um that nothing is obstructing mm -hmm. um uh, the path of your belt and the j hook mm -hmm. so you don't want to go around anything you want to go directly hook it directly to the wheelchair and make sure it's at a 30 to 45 degree angle so it should be something like this and this it sh belt should be flat like kind of up yeah not yeah well what i mean flat not twisted or more yeah than an not angle. twisted like yes, this yes. it should be flat and you should just attach it mm -hmm. um let's see what else so then we have oh, I have this so in the oh. back of the van there's a little hook it's it's you can't yeah, see yeah, it but you hook it here and this would go across your client just like you're putting on your regular seat belt like mm -hmm. so that will go across your clients we don't have the no this is the piece that would go to it yeah but we can just hold on put that no mm -mm. so it would go see this is so confusing when you're trying to do it without oh, having it yeah. it then, is yeah so that's why i said it's kind of hard for us to yes. explain it but um you get the you hopefully get you get the idea yeah of how to do it um and again, we just did this because we know that there was probably some parts when we were securing the wheelchair you guys probably didn't see. So we kind of want to walk through it with you guys and just show you the different pieces and components and also come with the with the entire setup. Yeah, um, and maybe I could just insert if I I'll, I'll look on the web and see if I could find some pictures of these pieces just mm -hmm. to give you guys um, a better idea. Maybe I could insert them into the video. Yeah. Um, but you know what I was also thinking about too. You want to also make sure you have an extra set of retractors as oh, yeah. well. So if something happens to one of them, you have a spare. We have a spare in all of our vehicles, so um, that is something you want to invest in as well. Make and sure also, you if you have have a retractor that's not working any longer you definitely want to oh. contact uh, in our situation it would be um, Q strain mm -hmm. you would contact them um, and it may be under warranty yeah. so you may be able to just get them um, replaced typically mm -hmm. we did have to get ours we replaced. Did. it was the uh, buckle yeah um, it was a simple process yeah. because um, when something um, when there's a malfunction they yes. want to know what happened mm -hmm. um, so they definitely want to have their product back so they can inspect it right so um, and typically that's just you reaching sending, out ma reaching out mailing it back to them and they mail you a new a new um, retractor a new, or whatever piece component that's not functioning properly right yeah but like Monica said you always want to have a backup mm -hmm. here just in case you know you're in the middle of your work day and it doesn't work anymore and you have to get someone back yes Yes. home so keep that in mind also um when you're dealing um when you attach the j-hook you want to give that belt a tug mm. just to make sure that it's yes. it's it's y tight yeah it's not you know loose or um and also the wheelchair too once you properly mm -hmm. secure everything you know give that wheelchair a little tug to make sure that it's tight and it's not moving back and forth um mm -hmm. that's also important as well 
Yeah. yeah. Do you remember when we first started? <laughs> We had the hardest time with that. Girl, we had the hardest time. We practiced on one another. Um, but that, I mean, now... It's it's simple. It's a piece of cake. But it, at first, we, we did... we, And it's, I think it was because we were overthinking and overanalyzing every yeah. single part. Like, we were nervous. Go? We were like, so nervous. You guys, we, we didn't work in this industry prior to mm-hmm. us starting our business. So... We were learning everything brand everything. new. Mm-hmm. Like everything was new to us. We were watching videos, but then at that time, I don't even think we were able. I don't recall us watching a lot of videos on in this um, industry about a lot of things. We kind of just it was trial and error for us. But also, we just kind of we took our time and we, like you said, we just learned along the you know the process. Mm-hmm. We just figured you know figured it out. But it is important for you guys to you know definitely continue to practice if you have employees continue to um provide uh information knowledge and training and that training that the wheelchair securement training is something that you definitely want to invest in make sure all your drivers are trained um to properly secure a wheelchair that is something that you do not want to take a shortcut in you want to make sure that um your drivers are trained to secure wheelchairs yeah that's extremely important um you know, you definitely want don't want an accident or anything to happen um, while transporting a wheelchair patient. Right. Yeah. So. So I think that's about it. Like I said, we are going to put a link in the description. So if you guys um, want to take a look at the link, mm-hmm. and it'll give you guys a more detailed look mm-hmm. as to how to properly um, secure the wheelchair in the vehicle. Like I said different makes different models different restraint systems so it all depends on what type of vehicle you yeah. have um but that's about it for this video yeah, i think we covered everything absolutely and if you guys have any questions feel free to um to leave your uh comment below mm-hmm. um and i did want to say for the wheelchair securement training um if you look on our youtube i'm sorry if you look on our instagram and if you look on our tiktok we did a a reel and a tiktok in regards to how you can find that wheelchair securement training for yourself and Um, for your employees Mm -hmm. so um that's definitely there if you're having a hard time finding it just comment below or send us a dm on instagram and we'll take you directly to the video Mm -hmm. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Once again, you guys, happy holidays. Merry Merry Christmas. Christmas. Happy Happy Hanukkah. Hanukkah. And happy New Year. Bye. Ciao, guys. Wait, hold on. No, Jazz was aggressive. Help! Help! <laughs> Help! <laughs>